Welcome back, car fighters and zero fighters, to another video. So, back again with another tech profile. Yep, quite early to upload uh, because like the the the, the, end, the the month's ending and um, so yep, yeah, I need to basically make tech profiles, I guess. But I don't need to. But I just wanna. I'm more support because I just got back from locals. I had a pretty interesting day. It was right. <laughs> I was too early for locals and basically there were no one there so and then I needed to do something so yikes but yep um, pretty good um, day honestly today pretty relaxed start of a holiday school's out so I'm chilling today so let's check out the deck profile today that we we um, we're gonna watch, uh, see today because um, that's the main point of the video so Genesis Yep, Genesis. Somehow I completed it. Can you believe it? You seen my old Genesis deck profile video? It was horrible. It was an atrocity. The deck was not it was not complete at all. So, um, luckily, Sunday I actually somehow completed this. But um, um, you can say completed in a sense. But um, if you are watching this, like, what are the, what is this? Why are there like three different creatures, like seals and the one of crit? Um, I'll explain that later. So. <laughs> Um, first things first, let's go into the main grade trees of the set. So these two are new cards, Angelica and Minerva. They were from the event. You could like cut four and uh, four old triple rares. Then you get one triple rare of an Angelica or a Minerva of your choice when the one million v one million matches of Vanguard Zero of the first rank season hit. And it was hit like in between like ten days, I think, like around ten days. I think it just hit the one million mark. So. Um, got got my last uh, place that I forgot which one I traded it for, but I think Angelica or not Minerva. I think Angelica. So, um, Angelica. Uh, this card is super good. If you know in the future in Legion, this this goes with Cross Ride, I think, with one of the Legions. I think Nyx. I, I forgot. Um, I'm, I wasn't a big fan of Genesis, actually. Well, not, not that I don't like it, it's just never paid attention. So, now let's talk about the skills of Angelica. Enough um, uh, dragging out. Um, when roll upon, so break right. So, best three to give 10k and then look at top 4 to add 2 cards to your hand so pretty good skill pretty okay you um, basically sold best 3 for 10k and a, uh, a plus 2 and it's not uh, it's pretty good plus 2 because considering how genesis like um, filters through the deck a lot so really really good and then when it attacks soul charge 1 to give 1k that actually is pretty big for the soul charge 1 if it was just an attack plus 2k or 3k it would actually be bad because the soul charge is really worth it and it's just free soul so yeah, <laughs> this is a really really good card and you want to break ride it, but it, sadly it needs setup. So the, the downside is that if you ride, ride into this first, you, you should ride it like by the time you're not at like 4 damage or you risk to death. Because this card doesn't do much on its own, but with a combo like Minerva, this deck becomes super good. So Minerva, Vanguard Circle, one, let me break for once per turn when it attacks, give it skill. So and the skill is so best at the end of battle you have to soul blast three and counter plus one discard two and you get to stand her and draw two cards and give it five k so um, essentially um, at uh, re stand it for it's basically a like a dauntless drive skill but with different costs so counter plus one and drop two and then soul blast three to draw two and get five k so it's legit just like dauntless drive but you get soul blast three to give five k so you just have to consider that. But Genesis plays a lot with the soul, so this is actually much more valuable than um, its skill only because there are a lot of cards that combo with the soul blast and it's really, really good. Then it cross right with Angelica. So Angelica, I, I think this is something related to the lore, but I've never really paid attention to Genesis lore. So um, Angelica is like a main, like a great tree that a lot of great tree cross right with Angelica, more than one I think. Maybe two, maybe three, I don't remember Legion. <laughs> And then, and then the second skill I forgot to mention, so best to get 5k. That 5k is pretty good. It helps with um, basically to get over numbers. On top of that, the Soul Blast 3 can be really decent because you can actually fill up your port. If you ask how, if you don't play Genesis, I'll show you in a bit. So, um, what else? Let's talk about the starter first because starter is a good key card. So this is Witch of Prohibited Books, Cinnamon. Uh, when the attack of your great tree or greater unit this unit boosted hits a vanguard, and you get to put him soul, put her to the soul, and just uh, soul charge two. But you can only soul charge triggers, essentially uh, triggers. I mean normal units. So how it works is that you will soul charge um, constantly until you get two uh, normal trigger, uh, normal units into the soul. Other than that, and all the triggers from the soul charges will be sent to the deck, and you shuffle your deck. So um, 
really good actually, just like, basically Genesis has this buff, so it's not in the TCG, but basically um, you can't throw Judge Triggers with effects like this, so there's a lot of, uh, there's a few cards that has the same effect, so pretty, com comes in really handy because like, of course you don't want to throw Judge Triggers. So this is a good starter. I've seen some people play the when it boosts, uh, when it boosts, so that's one. I think that card is okay. It's not bad, but I think the bad part about it is that at it so charges one each turn, so that's it doesn't lose value as in a mod. But the sad downside is that it can soul charge your triggers, it can soul charge your PGs. On top of that, if your deck is too thin already, you still have it at your back row unless you call, call over it. Um, you basically. Um, will so charge your um, too much of your deck so I've seen where people played that card and I saw they shouldn't boost with it because you have to know how to when to boost and stuff it's it's an okay starter I see and uh, let's see what else um, I'm not the biggest um, player of Genesis so if I do misplays don't mind me guys um, forgive me you can find it on the comments it's fine but um, I can't guarantee you that I won't misplay so and then Fortuna, uh, well actually, these are three great trees that you can play, I wanna talk about this, so There are five great trees that send. you have four Minervas and four um, Angelicas These are my great trees, I think you can run around with um, You can use Rata Karasu, you can use Iwata Kahime, you can use um, Fortuna depending on like which great tree you have And on top of that, which one you prefer, I just prefer Iwata Kahime because um, Her skill is sold by 6 to retire your overs front row, so you retire their intercepts, which is really good. Then we also have yeah, the Karasu, which is also really good. When you should attack, Vanguard so plus 9 to draw 2 cards. So, and then withstand 2 of your rear cards, then give it 2 crit. So, and then so plus 1 and Persona plus 2 get a soul charge 3. That sounds, the first the third skill is the best part. The second skill is like, um, I, I feel like you would break. The third skill is pretty good also. So he has a Cider skill. What is a Cider skill? During your turn, opponent's turn. Um, your active healer sentinels and your retired recurs into your uh, sends to your soul instead of your drop zone. So, uh, attack intercept, they, it will go to the soul instead of drop zone. But you have to remember that it's in your only opponent's turn. So, if you overcall units when battle phase, you don't send them to the soul because that would be too OP, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. And then, yeah, so this is this card's pretty good aggressive, but I don't, I rarely use her because just because soul blast 9 is quite difficult at the same time. Standing two rare cards is like mm, not bad, but then you need a board while you're at it, which it's not the be the strongest strength of. Um, well, actually, it depends on the en enemy. Maybe if the control is not that good. And the two crits doesn't. Uh, the two crits is okay, like to kill you, but like I don't replay. Really uh, she's not that. She's really weird, you know. Yeah, Karasu is a good card, but like it's just sometimes that you can only use her one or twice a turn. Or not by the time third time you want to soul charge your cards, you probably decked out. So yeah, this is pretty hmm, interesting. But you can play her, it's not bad. And then we have the Fortuna. So plus three to basically she's the trash checking unit. When your trash check reveals a crit trigger the card that is not triggered. So normal unit so plus three to add that card, then to form an extra trash check. And then if you reveal two or more trash triggers and you if you reveal two or more uh, triggers, uh, if it's this and basically, if it is the second time you reveal a trigger, you get to get an additional trap again. So she just gives you a lot of trash trigger, which is not bad, but she only gets cards, that's pretty much it. Unless you run 9 crits, but sadly in 0, it doesn't do much, the more cards in your hand, so... Fortuna is, I said, better not. You're better off running the Uyanakayimi or the Yata Karasu as 4. Yata Karasu is pretty interesting, but depends depends on your playstyle actually. And then now let's talk about the other cards. Because this grade 3 is not that important since you're not gonna main it anyway. So um, let's go to grade 1. This is Cider, I talked about before. Cider gives you a skill to your Vanguard. So just like the Yata Karasu, during your opponent's turn, your cards that are like some drops on from Sentinels or your rear cards that are retired fire effects or even intercepts you get to send it to soul instead so that's pretty that's really good actually um because against control decks that you are actually soul charging more on top of that create tools like um chamomile um great tools that, for example you have draw into crappa chamomile or um hesperis early you can actually put her to the soul because you get better fandom fit from it and then we have Valencia, uh, Witch of Oranges, Valencia, really good card. She has the same skill like a starter essentially, but not when it attacks, just when it's sent from the soul to the drop zone. So you soul charge 2, there are non triggers. Really good because you basically won't use soul, soul plus 1 for soul charge 2. 
So that's just really good. Then we run three Melissas. Um, the ratio to the great one it di actually differs depending on your deck. Uh, there are only one kind of PTs, and then so Melissa, um, you probably know counter when call when when well basically when she's soul blasted, counter blast one to call her to get three K. So um, she's not bad. She's a good booster making column. She can also make um if she, if you're in a tough situation and you soul charge her, you can actually call her as a ten K Peter to attack their intercept and go for the win. So also pretty good. Then let's talk about huh. So this card is the uh, less important. So I not many lists run Sahoime, but I play it personally just because um if you were to not get your cards in your soul that are good or you just um running out of soul or you just need one more soul or two more soul for your like Minerva I guess Minerva says it its skill activates at the end of battle. You can just like swing at their vanguard with Sahohime, counter blast one and soul charge three and then you just use your skill uh then you can use your Minerva. So she comes in handy, she don't always use her skill but she comes in handy. Then I run three Krapas because I feel like with the Valencias and the starter, you don't need too much anyways. And sometimes you don't even use a uh, Krapa even you soul blast it because of how your how thin the deck comes because of how much you soul charge if you play Dark against Dark States or play the Dark States. Uh, it's similar to this case, so zero. So for the new nations. Then we run Hesperus. This is a really really good card. I think it's uh, I think it's used even yeah, it's gonna be used in Asia. I don't know if it's G, but when this unit is put into your drop zone by your effect, you give it one uh, this effect. Uh, a simple effect where your vanguard attacks, you get to pop one of your opponent's triggers. That is just good in general because it pops the great ones and possible grade two or grade three if they were just leaving in the board, you can pop those and then um, for no effect no cost basically because you're soul blasting this card. So but you have to remember the timing is that for example, Minerva soul blasted at the end of battle, it won't count for the first attack. So what you want to do is soul blasted at the main phase. So Minerva attacks twice, so her skill activates twice. So um, really, really good actually. Just like good control decks like um, that doesn't draw as much have hard time countering it, and they can't really do much about it unless they have resist. But resist don't, does not come at the legion. Then we have Chamomile. So this is why my deck was bad. It was absolutely garbage. Um, because I only had one camo meal, but somehow I got four because of the event. Really, really happy. So, what is camo meal? Do you remember when it's in that? Um, it's put in your drop zone, so soul blast at counter blast one to give three K and color. So, she's basically a Melissa, but a create two body. Which you might think, oh, that's that's how is that good? Like if you never played uh, Genesis, like it's just the context that because this card is a create two, you can overcall from your create trees, overcall your create ones, or in the sense also if you don't have. Great tools in your hand, you can just like soul blast out camo meals to counter blast one and call her. So she's really good. You don't basically you you are defensive and offensive at the same time because you multi you can multi attack with her, but at the same time not um not le still stay ha have a intercept on the board and just like it's basically Marjorie in a sense, but Marjorie has to put the card back to the so uh, ma not Marjorie. What am I talking about? Uh, the the pale moon one, I forgot her name. Mary Chica, not Marjorie. The Mary is Marjorie's from Dark State. Uh, Mary Chica, where she multi attacks, but she sends the card from the soul to the. Yeah, to the. Basically, she returns to the card to the soul at the end. So, a lot of long explanation, I think. Yep, yeah, 13 minutes. Oops. <laughs> Talked about the deck a lot because I think I didn't explain well in the. First set. So, Camo Mill is as good in general. You played against Genesis, you've seen Genesis probably really good. So. Tournament mode is on right now, so hopefully I don't get um, crushed and hopefully we win because I actually played three games with it beforehand because I wanted to like show you guys two matches and hopefully I win both of them to win the champion tournament which would give me a pretty like 15 packs I think right I won pretty lucky so fun fact for a fun little story about today morning when the morning the champion tournament was out then I played two three matches then for some reason. Like I had three uh, invites, so the first invite I used Go Paladin, I bricked and lost. Second invite, again I bricked and lost. <laughs> like, this is so funny. I actually this is the first game I misplayed in my sense because I was afraid what the Opo I had a PG, but turns out they didn't have PG and they paid me and I lost. We're fighting Genesis in Genesis. So believe it or not, the third one I played Genesis and Genesis is a really really good deck. It's just that sometimes you don't soul charge your cards. That's the only problem. I guess if you wanna retry this, your Melissas don't need to be red. So like, if you wanna ride, you better ride uh, Valencia. I just wanna say that. 
So we draw this, because I wanna ride fast press. Okay, fine, I have to secure my break right at the same time, I forgot not to break right. So, yeah, in the morning I break twice, which sucks. And then, yeah, even though Ezo is not bad, it's supposedly not bad, but it just breaks all the time sometimes. And then, that's Vanguard Zero, I guess. <laughs> so, right into Valencia, call the starter here, always call the starter behind. Um, because it boosts Vanguard, right? Yeah, create your creator. Wait, no, no, no. It boosts any create your creator, but your Vanguard is just like the better creator you want on your board. Okay. They're playing Fortuna as I see. Okay, nope. No trigger. So, I was gonna push. This deck has. Um. Me, uh. This deck is really situational, but I, since I'm fighting Genesis, I wanna try to push. Because Genesis, the more longer I wait, the more chance that she sets up more, you know, basically. So like this, you wanna ride... What do I wanna ride? If I had um, Cider, I would have been able to put these interceptions to the soul. But sadly, I can't. So right now, um, with my hand, I don't see a lot of creators in the uh, later turn. So I think I'm gonna go for Camo Meal right now. I think that's a better option. Then, like in the future, if I get um, Cider, I would be able to put Hespers in the soul. So I will call Krapa first. Krapa attacks with regards to Vanguard. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Please, Joker. Okay, thank you. So, into a cameo meal, that's really good. So, I secured the Minerva. I also forgot to mention that. C Cider. So, recently I was playing Cider with 2 off, but I played 3 off Cider and it was just way better because Cider allows your. Uh, multi attacking. Then near the Minerva. Oh wait, I should increase the volume whenever Minerva comes on. Okay, I will have my blue stacks on my side. So whenever, whenever um, it basically starts, I will have yeah. whenever. Okay, I'm gonna turn up the volume first. Turn up the volume for a bit. Okay, it's quite loud. Okay, so now lower the volume down. Yep, that is Angelica. Hopefully you guys it wasn't too loud for you guys because I actually don't know how loud it would be. So right now I wanna call this gun. Because I'm gonna push her. Because she doesn't have the break right, right? So I wanna push her. But um I'm calling down a lot of weight. So right, secure. Oh, can I check a crit? So I forgot to actually talk about trigger lineups, did I? Yep, <laughs> so no triggers. Um, I run four crits, uh, five crits, and four draws because this deck with Angelica draws draws enough. Fortuna as what? Wait, I just realized if you ride over Minerva, over Minerva, you don't get the skill. Well, I mean, like the effect. Did you just increase the soul, and that's pretty much it? Ooh, you hit like two hits, that's nice. So yeah, I forgot to talk about triggers, right? Yeah, so I run five crits and four draws, the draws are enough. The crits are pretty good because like if you check a crit with Minerva for the first attack, she restands with the crit also because unlike re rating forms, she rides over. But Minerva so, uh, just like swings with the crit, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. You did not give me any crit. Pretty smart. Do I even want to give her limit break? That's my question now. Yeah, I'm gonna call for two round Do I want to push for damage? Let me just swing here. Heal. Okay, I actually, if I heal down, I'm fine. Wait, let me check the trigger lineups. One crit, where is that crit? What crit is on it? What card is on a crit? So Angelica is there a crit. She didn't draw Angelica because you would ride it off card. I'ma turn it. I think it's a better option. I'm thinking a little bit harder because like it's this is champions tournament. So hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna think a little bit harder this this game. You got your camel meal. There's the Angelica. Then, nope. So I'm still waiting for whenever she gives me a limit break. Because if she gives me a limit break, she will be 
in a lot of trouble, I guess? Question mark? Uh, that, that's question mark. Like if she's in a lot of trouble or not. She can still kill me with double crit. Nope. <laughs> nope. Thank god that did not happen. I would be in panic. Oh, let's go. I got a PT. Fukushi Nada really good. Uh, the animation. I'm gonna be quiet because... Okay, so oh no, I should have used the starter earlier because now... Now this kinda yikes. Okay, let's see what happens. So that's three. I wanted the chamomile to stay on the board later on. Oh my god, I'm gonna take food peaches. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna call this down, Camomile, to my card. So hopefully my starter or the Valencia actually so touches the Melissa on my hand. Uh, I would rather have Camomile. Oh, oh my god, thank you Vanguard Zero. Oh, just what I want. So, like this I can swing, swing, Vanguard swing, so plus, uh, card plus one, so plus three, re-stand, and then call the Camomile here to overcall of a grade two. Then I also have so many cards in hand. That's really good. So I'm not gonna soul blast with Minerva, of course. Because, uh, my soul in V. And luckily with my starter, a starter like this, she she essentially gives me the soul I need. Oh my god, thank you, Vanguard Zero. Oh, let's go. So soul charge. I'm using the skill I can soul charge easily. Oh my god, look at that. A chamomile in the solo so I'm not using, I'm not gonna call that chamomile, but I'm gonna do this. Look at that. I have to be aware though. My the cards in the deck is eleven cards left. So I need to be careful with my skills because I might mess up. So let me hundred percent do the obvious move first. So overcall um chamomile. Now nine cards in my deck. So let me check the list. There are a few crit twos, there's a few crit ones, there are four crits. I think I shouldn't use a skill right now because yeah, I don't think I should just use it. Heal trigger. Okay, if I check a crit here, I should be checking a crit. Right? There are four crits left in there. Ah, look at that. Okay, so I won't risk it because like there's a chance they have a lot of PGs and the triggers will hit like that. And if I soul charge before, I would not last for more uh, for a second turn. I think after this. So that was a um a smarter play. So. Playing a little bit more sweaty, guys. Uh, don't mind me. Yeah. Um, the Champions tournament. This is like I barely won from the like past two months, three months. Because things like the first two games of the morning. Uh, that was weird. I was so, uh, I was basically like happy to play Champions tournament. And, like, got bummed out a little bit. Man. So, Crit. You crit me however how much you want. I don't care. I have 3 PGs and I'm trapped. Critical trigger. Okay, 6 cards left in there, right? Okay. Uh, call. Call. Call? Okay, okay. So I'ma call it there. Might be wrong play, but... I'm so scared. No, 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 I'm not risking that. Okay, they have a PG. No matter what, he cannot win because unless he draw triggers. I know he doesn't have enough soul, never mind. Okay, I was paying attention to the game correctly. Okay. No trigger. Two wheels. <laughs> oh my god, giving more salt to the room. He didn't even retire my records. Has he given up? Swing. And then. Swing. If, he, if she heals, could be bad. Nope. Okay. Did I see that right? I thought the triple rare was foiling, was foiled. Did they change that, or am I tripping? So never mind. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. So I also forgot to mention they actually keep the animation for even for the Misaki in the bathing suit, right? Yeah, they 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 kept it. Pretty cool. 
They usually don't keep it because the new cards from reason. So first game really good. I'm in champions tournament. Time for the final run. Please don't end it in bad. VP farmer, I won't complain and we'll go to the next match if it happens. So Genesis, let's get into it. Um, one more check in the deck list. Anything change? Nope. Um, oh, actually, honestly, I wanted to mention that you can also drop the Melissa's to run these guys because Melissa's not that important. She's good at making columns, but at the same time, as you can see, uh, you can not, you can survive with multi attacking with like um, chamomiles and like your opponent's not gonna be always checking triggers. But like also at the same time, remember that counter blast. If you chamomile counter blast, um, Minerva is still counter blast. So if you play um, Melissa a lot. You gotta consider your counter blast way more. Just saying. Okay, next game, next game. So, oh, we're fighting Kakiro. So, a control deck against Minerva. Not the worst case scenario, but we'll see what happens. So, like I said, with I hopefully get my ciders because control deck like this can be dangerous without cider. So let me put back the heal. Riding into Minerva first is not good, but at the same time, not a bad situation. Okay, Angelica. Thank you, Vednachi. Thank you, Genesis. Wow. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'm going second, which is pretty a little bit scary. Well, not pretty scary, just a little bit scary because the novel package is always scary, man. The novel package is always scary. So, put back. Um, back uh, big. No, 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 no. I do not say big. That would be wrong for this. Um, Okay. Let's see. Okay, so I get Hesper. So, Javonic Overlord, uh, well, like the Dragon, dragon like Kagero, um, their mood pushing is okay. I have Melissa, I don't need Melissa on the Umbrica Circle. I need boosters, but like, it doesn't matter. So, I'm pushing a little bit because. Um, oh my god, yes, 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 keep pushing. So, the more I stall, the more annoying um, according, uh, uh, basically did the uh, Kakero become because it need, it, they would usually go into strike in one. so their Vanguard can attack. If I push them to 5 damage early, they would be in a lot of trouble. That was what I was trying to say, but I was messing up my words. So I think I... Do I want to ride the Hesperus? Hesperus is really good against Kakero because Kakero doesn't draw much, like, like I said, cards just like Kagero that doesn't draw much against Hesperus so that gets hard countered. Mm. Mm. Okay, it's over Valencia. That doesn't matter. Okay, let me just go into Hesperus, I think. Let's phase 2 go into Hesperus. I have the starter. I'm gonna ride into the... Angelica first anyway, so um call it here. I'm gonna give him four damage. Kinda scary because like if he goes to the end Okay never mind. I thought it was gonna like the end persona blast, persona blast. With the strike and script. That would be scary, but won't be the end of the world with the PG. Oh he's gonna do that. Is he gonna push me to 5 damage? He's gonna push me to 5 damage. If I don't check my triggers, he's gonna push me to 5 damage. Not a... Not honestly. If I think about it, I couldn't avoid it. Draw to sir. I can't really avoid a skill like DM like that because... Um, giving them 2 damage early is what you want to do. Because if you play it too slow, they're just gonna know well about you. If you play it a little too early, cards like the end can be dangerous. No! Oh my god, don't want to second this. Oh my god. I need to check my heals already. I need to check my heals. Not like that. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Okay. Was it a misplay to push Kagero? I don't think so. Because I... I don't think so, yeah, yeah. So... Maybe? I don't know. Against always fighting Kakura is always so questionable because they rely on the drawing their pieces, but they don't draw as much. So, yeah, if they draw into like the ends like that early on, you can't really do much. Heal, okay, thank god. Okay, okay. There's still a chance. 
Heal again, please. No, no heal. Okay. Oh my god, this man is checking his cross a lot. Oh no, I just realized. Oh yeah, never mind. This really depends on the triggers now. If he goes in Novel, this really depends on the triggers. Oh my god, he's going in Novel. So, decks like Kagero. Honestly, this is why Kagero was like one of the best decks in the meta ran JP in like Vanguard Zero Championship, if you see that. Um, almost everyone brought Kagero because Kagero is super, super good. If you draw it to your pieces, you get so much value. Trigger, please. No! I'm gonna lose! Are you kidding? This sucks, but. Yep, that is Kagero you get for pretty much against Kagero. You don't damage them early, they're just gonna stall you out. No well, if not. Bro, I can't believe it. This man caught into everything, man. Oh, that was such a bad game, man. Well, at least you guys get to see what Kagero is. <laughs> Kagero is so mental to play against. Not gonna lie, if you. Um, if you don't damage them early, they go into Tondas, then like they have the Tondas and Ovel combo, which would most likely kill you unless you have like a lot of PGs. But then if you don't push, if you push them, they have like the DN strike and... <sighs> this is the risky, the, the sad part about Genesis is that I couldn't even avoid that happening, you know. Because Genesis so far has only... Have the old, the five damage PG so well not the five damage like where if you die you 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 you, you PG basically kind of PG like if you if you know you know Genesis that sucks I missed the four packs but I'm happy with this I think it's um eleven oh well, we got eight packs so we got twelve in total never mind so that's pretty neat I mean next set we have Daikai, Great Daikai and like uh, Lukia Reverse, it was Venus Lukia I mean and like other cards I forgot so okay with that set I'm not too excited for next set but we'll see I mean Venus Lukia I would be fun, it would be fun to play I, I heard that it got nerfed because of OP so let's go for another match I think how long is the video okay 30 minutes actually never mind then it's been a long time since recording so Hmm, as you can see, the basically Genesis, really good deck if you draw into your pieces. Um, that last game was pretty yikes. Can't really do much. I didn't check my. Um, I can't really do much. So he didn't even. Wait, I couldn't let me bring in to Minerva, but would I gain value? I don't think so. I would have still lacked and stuff. So, yep, Genesis. Um, you can see also before. That Kakiro game was busted as hell. <laughs> I couldn't do much and I just got crit to face. Y if you guys argued that I couldn't push, um, I wasn't sure if he had a Tornus in hand. So, yep, pretty yikes. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's, um, that's basically it for the Genesis deck profile. This is uh, my deck list. If you guys want to copy, um, you should uh, be, be sure to do so. And, yep. So, that's pretty much it for me to today. Thanks for watching guys, Capital VG signing out, bye bye.